everyone. Today's lecture is the measure space. In the previous lecture, uh, we he heard the measure zero. The, then, what is the measure? From from this lecture, uh, I'll explain, I focus on the what is the measure, the definition of the measure and property, uh, example and some property, properties of the measure space. Okay? And let's recall the previous lecture. The most important keywords uh, in the lecture, previous lecture is method zero and Rubeck theorism, which is based on the method zero uh, definition of the method zero. The uh, I uh, in the previous lecture I explained the concept of the method zero. So for example, uh, natural number and all of the countable set such as natural number and rational number uh, is method zero. And Rubeck's theorism says. Uh, a function is the Riemann integrable if and only if the set of discontinuous collection of the discontinuous function and uh, the element when you compare the element num number of the element cardinal is uh, method zero then this is Riemann integrable. So even though in the given given uh, interval even though this continuous point is um, countable, then um, it is uh, Riemann integrable uh, on, against our uh, intu intuitive belief. Looks like not non integrable. No, this is integrable. Then the condition is this continuous point is measure, set, set of the discontinuous point is measure zero. And this is if and if only condition. And then, but however, this example in the previous lecture I uh, said this is not Riemann integrable. The reason is uh, various, explaining various uh, reasons. The first is clearly this is the uh, not Riemann integrable means lower sum and upper sum is non -coinc not coincide. So this is non integrable. And uh, we, if we investigate this continuous point, uh, this continuous point is irrational number. However, irrational number is not countable. Okay. Um, in fact, this is this continuous point is not measure zero. So this con from this condition, this function is a uh, non-Riemann integrable. However, when the graph plotting, uh, I will already explain the previous lecture. Uh, in, I want in this lecture, from this lecture, our object is I want to make this function makes integrable and want to evaluate the value uh, 1. Looks like the Riemann integrable. But clearly this is not Riemann integrable, okay? But I want to construct new method to this function is integrable and I want to evaluate this function is still 1 even though this continuous point is uh, not measure zero. Okay. To uh, in order to construct this new method, uh, we understand uh, fundamentally. We must understand the measure theory. And if we are finished to understand the measure, and we can approach our uh, goal, the, the Rubeck integrable. Okay. So from this lecture, I'll explain what is the measure and measure space okay let's start to understand the measure space but uh i will focus in for the time being i focus only the what is the measure on the concept of the, based on the uh, okay measure so do not uh, forget all every integral remain integral and integral reality is forget for the time being only I uh, uh, maybe lecture 14, 15, 16, 17 maybe only concentrate the, what is the measure. Okay. Measure space consists of three triplet. Uh, X is the whole set. We 
the set space we want to discuss and m m is called uh, i i will explain uh, later this is sigma algebra sigma algebra and mu is the measure function so in this lecture i'll explain the three triplet uh, details explain three uh, triplet to in order to construct measure space and a whole set is just a whole set so this is clear then i'll ex explain sigma algebra definition of the sigma algebra here let x be a set and m is the this is power set okay you understand the power set for example x is 1 then px okay this is x is 1 and 2 px is the power set is all collection of the uh, subset of x okay then in this case px is empty set and 1 and 2 and a uh, whole set x it's a collection of the uh, subset of x then uh, m is called sigma algebra the first condition is okay empty set and x is contained m the second property is m is closed to complement this mode means if a is element in m then uh, so its complement is m and the last condition is m is closed countable union so this means if a i the index is contained m for all i in the natural number then union of a i is also uh, contained m if this uh, condition are satisfied then we can say this set m is called sigma algebra uh, okay but this definition uh, is so abstract so what is the relation of the method zero what is the Riemann integrable and Rebeck integrable um, this is so too difficult uh, to imagine this uh, previous theorism but however if we this is the based and based on this sigma algebra I will uh, step by step accumulate our knowledge about the measure space okay and let's see some example of the measure space first example is so clear example easier example x is the whole set and let's suppose a is the subset of x for arbitrary subset of x and consider uh, the set empty set and x whole set and a and a complement it's the power set okay this is clearly subset of the um, power set then this is measure space uh, sorry sigma algebra why copy i'll copy this definition okay first condition empty set and whole set is contained m this is clear and m is closed to complement in this case remarkable point is set a a is cleared in r but complement complement of a is so also in r so this satisfies the condition and when consider uh, empty set empty set is uh, um, complement of the empty set is whole set and uh, complement of whole set is an empty set okay this is clearly crossed complement now for this condition uh, some others skip the condition a because um uh, but a, uh, empty set is clearly one of them is content clearly contained in m okay so some others some others say just empty set m or whole set m because uh, this condition this condition satisfies the complement condition so 
uh, whole set and empty set is comp each complement set is contained in it. Okay. And the last condition, and this is easier because this is a finite set. So for arbitrary union for uh, doing for arbitrary unioning, um, this is still the element in R. So this is the major uh, so a sigma algebra. Let's suppose another example. X is consists of one, two, and three. This is so uh, pretty um, three element. And let's consider a subset of this here. Uh, in fact, when we uh, watch this set, this is as good as just the power set X. Understand? So this is all element of the subset, all subset of the x uh, is corrected. This is clearly sigma algebra. When considering uh, this definition of a sigma algebra, empty set and x is contained in a, each complement, one here, this and this here, and this here, and all arbitrary union is contained uh, element in bare one. 3 and 1, 2 is a whole set, 1 and 2 is a 1, 2, and 2 and uh, 3 is 2, 3, and so on. Okay, this is uh, clearly, um, obviously, the sigma algebra. And how about this? Uh, bet 2 is empty set, x, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3. This is a total 6 element. This is subset of the power set. This is sigma, is this sigma algebra? Uh, it looks the sigma. Uh, uh, it looks sigma algebra when, uh, for example, this and uh, this complement is here, and this is here, and empty set x is here. But the problem, watch it when these two members, two and three. Um, this is violate the condition C. Uh, if we, the reason this is not sigma algebra, is not sigma algebra, the reason is violate the C, statement C. 2 union 3, okay, this arbitrary union 2 and 3 does not contain bad 2. Okay, but this is because of this, bet 2 is not sigma algebra. Then, how about um, statement C? Oh, sorry, it's bet 3. Bet 3 is consists of here. And this is clear sigma algebra. Uh, when I, the previous slide, I report this set, okay? I deleted here. Oh, this. Here and this here. Okay. Uh, in this case, just choose this here. A arbitrary subset in A. And when you arbit when you choose arbitrary subset A, then clearly this, this is the um, complement of arbitrary subset. This is clearly sigma algebra. So um, in this case, so set by one. And bet 3 is the sigma algebra. However, bet 2 is not the case of the sigma algebra. And let's see the another example. Bet 3 is a consistent set, subset of the power set. But this is clearly sigma algebra. Why? When considering the set, I previously explained. Um, this cross uh, when x is the whole set and choose the arbitrary subset a in x and c and uh, attend, uh, add the complement of the a, then this is clearly sigma algebra. So in this case, these guys correspond to the a, and the complement of three is one two. Okay, this is sigma algebra. So, uh, our conclusion is that 
Be1 and Be3 is the sigma algebra, but not in Be2. So, um, let's dispose of this not a sigma algebra. I concentrate two set uh, this Be1 and Be3. And I'll discuss our next definition of the uh, Borel set. Okay, let's start here. Uh, I first I underline this element three. Okay. <laughs> when you're considering uh, B one and B three, this is a clear sigma algebra, and each uh, sigma algebra contains three elements three. Uh, and the set relation B one and B three. B3 uh, is clearly B3 is subset of the B1, B1 the superset of the B3. And this contains 3 and this is contains 3. I will discuss uh, and I discuss about is that um, the smallest sigma algebra, the smallest sigma algebra. Containing which contains which contains specific set. In this case, a specific set, I um, pick the element three. Okay. Uh, the another um, intriguing and doubting point. Doubting is doubt is that uh, uh, any other element which contain sigma algebra which contains three, and um, for example, B, if we consider B four, B four, clearly and uh, these guys clearly required and one and in this case let's consider uh, three. Another, I will construct. I want to construct another element which contains three uh, um, different these two guys. So I uh, want three. Then this is not a sigma algebra because uh, this complement okay two three is also required. Then um, three. To one and the complement one three okay this complement is one two is also required uh, but then this is the same as this case okay um one x three two three and one two this is sigma algebra 1 and 3 and 2 3 union 1 2 3 x 1 2 ah this is not a sigma algebra why this this union is uh oh oh this is 1 2 okay this is no problem uh, but ah uh, i find the problem this is here 1 and 3 union and these guys is also contained the B4. Okay. Then one three. Okay, the complement is two. So in this case, is this as good as the B1? So maybe if we try to in the given set, if I try to make a new element which contains three, um this is uh we can we cannot construct any other element aside from B1 and B3. This is the sigma algebra we can construct the containing the three. Okay. Then we think that B1 and B3 is the sigma algebra containing three. This is two guys is exist and Clearly, this smallest sigma algebra is the B3. B3 is the smallest algebra. 
one of two of them, uh, one of two element, two sigma algebras. Okay. And we can say also when we construct these ways, just shrink. So uh, it's contained base three, and this is contained base three. Just if we shrink sigma algebra, this is the smallest sigma algebra. Uh, collect all sigma algebra which contains specific element. In this case, just only two case. And if we um, if we intersect all of the smallest sigma, uh, all of the sigma algebra which contains these guys, then this made this is construction the smallest sigma algebra which contains three. This is the our topic. I this is the topic I want to say I want to say talk about. Um, these guys sigma c. When the notation, this notation is the smallest sigma algebra containing the C. C is the sigma algebra. So, uh, in the, I explained the previous case here. I want to make the smallest sigma algebra which contains three. Then collect all the sigma algebra. Uh, investigate directly. And even though this is difficult, uh, collect all of the sigma algebra which contains these, these elements and intersect all of these elements. Then this is the smallest sigma algebra, constructing the smallest sigma algebra. This, uh, this task looks like the, if we, if we study the topology, this is a closure. Okay, closure is the smallest uh, smallest set which closed the set which contains specific element okay uh, in this case bar apps the smallest closed set which contains in app we can say this is closure in the topology this is the same the uh, smallest sigma algebra containing C and I want to talk about in this lecture the most important keyword is the Borel set uh, the Borel set is denoted BR, which means this means the smallest sigma algebra containing open interval I. So, for example, um, I, ex I exp express the set I, which contains the open interval AB, an add additional condition AB, because we discussed with the real number system, this is the real number. And the proper definition uh, A is smaller than B is larger than A. This is clearly the open interval. So and we in the real number system, we anyway we can construct um, sigma algebra. Okay? But sigma algebra is not unique. We can construct looks like this, we can construct two or on in any other case in uh, any other case if this is just three element but in other case we can construct uh, more than many um, construct the sigma algebra but in this case even though um, when you can say sigma algebra one two three and so on but Every sigma algebra contains this open set, open interval. This is contains open interval. This is contains open interval. Every uh, make the sigma algebra, but every element, each element um, contains the open interval. Then, if this guy's uh, intersection looks like this intersects intersection then this is we can say this is sigma i this means the smallest sigma algebra this is uh, smallest sigma algebra which contains this open interval and 
we define this guys is just b r and we call the, the, the smallest sigma algebra which contains the uh, open interval i is called Borel set okay this is the Borel set and this concept is continuously uh, used to discuss about our topic the most important theorism which is related to the Borel sigma algebra is that every interval is a Borel set uh, what imagine the concept of the interval interval is we know the full type of interval as commonly used a b this is this guy is an open interval and this guy is a closed interval and both of these both of these guys often called um half closed interval so we draw the picture this here and this here and we this one of if we draw this here this here or uh, this is a b a b a b or we use the bracket okay using the bracket this here and this is here and this is here uh, however um, the, this is not the definition of the interval okay this is a uh, type of the interval um, so definition of interval is here uh, if uh, set put the set i is interval means interval the definition of the interval is um, this is just a uh, not remark um, even though the this definition is useful in this theorism, but uh, I think that many others or viewer YouTubers uh, know the should know uh, should know uh, would be good if we understand the we if we recognize the definition of the interval. So the definition of interval is here for if uh, choose x y element in i okay then for all element in t this satisfied with x is smaller larger than t is larger than x and smaller than y if every t is cons if, in for every element t between x and y then t also contained in i then we can say this i is interval for this reason we can say this is open interval this is closed interval and so on the reason is clear this is definition for example uh, in case of the open interval okay uh, special case close have closed the interval a and b if we choose x but these two guys clearly contained in um, i so i put the say i i1 is a b okay this is interval a special name as help closed interval uh, okay then choose x and y such that um, consider every element in t which satisfies here okay then these guys clearly i this is i1 okay every we whatever we choose every every element between x and y we can say every element is here in i1 so this is interval uh, a countable example counter case non 
uh, that interval case is the uh, if we i two or uh, say a a one b one and um, a two b two. This is clearly not the not interval. The reason is clear. Uh, a one b one and a two b two by the definition of the interval. First, choose the two element which contain which is in x y in i two. I pick here. Okay, this is x. This is y. Then we can clearly assert that in this given interval, there exists the t. I define the t uh, is one or half of a two plus b one. So this is middle point of this here. This guys does not contain in I2. Okay? Clearly does not contain I2. So this is not interval. Not interval. Uh, so the definition of interval is not here. This is a, an example of the interval. Open, closed, or have closed interval. The definition of the interval is originally here. Definition of interval. Okay, if we understand the interval, then this is just um, not important in this concept, but um, I think that it is better to understand the definition of the interval. So, okay, every interval is the Borelian. The reason is um, clear. Mm. When consider, if we know, okay, the interval in the real number, we can consider four case. Okay, I I said earlier, open interval. Open interval is no problem because Okay, this is no problem because Borel set is the smallest, the smallest sigma algebra containing the open set. In this case, obvious, obviously, obviously, this is uh, AB is a Borel set. Another case is a problem here. Let's consider closed interval. However, we can close the interval expressed as this guys. Here, a minus a minus um, one over n and b plus one over n. So, uh, I said Borel sigma algebra, Borel set is the smallest sigma algebra contain open set. This, this, this uh, element, so poor natural number n in n, a 1 over n, b plus 1 over n contained in clearly Borel set. So intersection when when consider intersection, even though we intersection, um, for example, this is a n minus one. If n goes to in this case, if n goes to goes to infinity, then this sequence goes to a, and this would be more approachy. This guys and when intersection and in case of the b this b plus n over, one over n if n goes to infinity this goes to the 
in goes to approach to B. Okay. So because of this property, we can say a closed interval. Uh, closed interval expressed these types, and this all of the uh, in element, we all of the set which consists of the intersection is the Borel set. And arbitrary union is also okay. This is arbitrary union. If we uh, act arbitrary union has doing this, this is also interval. Okay, this does not violate the definition of interval. So, um, this is clearly Borel's. This is this is clearly Borel's set. Uh, for similar reason, we can say A, B, and this help close the interval we also consider these guys are also borested. Uh, in case of this, in case of this, um, fix. In case of this, fix a uh, left side A, A and just goes to the touch B. Then this is also borested. And in case of in this case, uh, let's suppose. Let's fix the element in B and you intersection A minus one of N. Anyway, we uh we any interval apart from the open set, we can express these types. This is the interval. So this for this reason, every interval is a Borel set. Our proof is finished. This mark is better. Now, let's change our topic sigma algebra into a measurable function. Okay. In previous slide, we studied measure uh, or sigma algebra. Okay. X and mu is the perfect this is a measurable space and one of the one of the most important uh, guys consists of the measure space is the sigma algebra and another is the measurable function literally measurable function is uh, literally measure something uh, but this is special condition is uh, given required Oh, let's see the definition of the measure, measurable function. The measurable function is a function is a, from sigma algebra goes to, to the real number and this is contain infinity. This is the common definition of the when define the measurable function. See, is we say this. Um, for various reasons, this uh, domain uh, range is the R union infinite is so useful, and this guy say extended real valued function. Extended real valued function. Real. Um, Real value. This is not a function. It is an extended real value. Uh, so when considering this here, M is the clearly sigma <coughs> element of sigma algebra. Okay. So when considering which if we if we fix the element in M, this is clearly set. Especially special set is sigma algebra. So we can choose uh, A, this is a set, and this, if mm, B are the function mu, it spew out something. This is real number. Okay, so some say this, this function is a set function because the domain is set. And if we a special set, specific set is given, then this function goes out, uh, spew out the value. Uh, but we can say this is a measurable function. 
if first condition empty set empty set is clearly exist because of m is the sigma algebra all uh, sigma algebra must contain the empty set but empty sets peel out zero and otherwise element otherwise every element is peel out but this is positive function including um, zero uh, this is the first condition and second condition is the countable additivity when firstly uh, when we see the definition of the material function this definition is so abstract but later we can understand its uh, usefulness uh, definition is here if per index i a i in sigma algebra L, and consider this joint set this means we if we choose a i and another element j of course i j are different this joint means this and this is empty set for all i j but i is not sub uh, the sub index is obviously obvious not equal and so if we choose every this if we pick this joint uh sigma i this joint element in sigma algebra and unionize these guys and measuring this mu then this in this is equal to sigma mu a i if two conditions are satisfied, we can say the function, the function mu is called measurable function. And altogether, we can say the triplet x and mu, if we completely, cons completely this uh, construct make sigma algebra and mu, this is measurable function, then it's called measure space. And especially uh, without, if we uh, get rid of mu x m, this is called measurable space. Then we we now uh, I introduced the definition of the measures measure space, which consists of the three uh, to consist of the in order to consist of the measure space sigma algebra and um, measurable function now in, let's see some examples of the measure space I'll explain two cases of example one is still abstract why use this measure but example B is very familiar our life okay first example is the counting measure uh, of course the triplet x is the whole set sigma is clearly sigma algebra which satisfies the previous set and mu is measurable function so mu is given the sigma algebra from extended real value i am already referred the definition is commonly uh, the, the when considering the definition we take the extended real value system and mu is the function is given uh, the function mu set function mu is arbitrary okay if the condition two condition are satisfied so this function is give the it all set order set order so if a is finite spew out the element of the a and otherwise spew out the infinity so just consider easier example um, if consider the so set x is one two three and we can say the sigma algebra is here in fact this is as good as the power set but we i'll explain that uh, sigma uh, power set itself is a sigma algebra as all case uh, satisfy the definition of the sigma algebra and we get the subset mu um, if we consider mu uh, in this case this is not a bad this is sigma then consider the notation 
and the sigma goes to the extended real value system. In case we uh, disregard this case because this is the finite set, it's okay. So if we consider empty set, just define an uh, element is empty set is literally there is no element, okay, no contain element. So it is no problem if we define this as zero. And then x is clearly in the sigma because of the sigma algebra, x is clearly in sigma, and this we can define this is define uh, this is element of x. Uh, so this is clearly three. Okay. And we can check another property is so sigma, uh, another property is the monotone countable, uh, I forgot the name, countable additivity, countable additivity. If we consider, uh, we all only choose the, for example, choose the disjoint set. So, uh, one, if we consider one and three, <coughs> oh, okay, one and three. Because this is clearly empty set, this is this joint set. If we go to, to mu, uh, in this case, one and union three. In fact, this is clearly um, the definition of the union one three, and this is clearly two. And comparing the left side, this is uh, this is mu one plus mu three. This element is one. Also, this is one. So this is two. For this reason, this equality are the same. Well, whenever we choose the disjoint element, we get the same result of the the union of the element is the same as each sum of the uh, each sum of the set. So countable additivity, countable additivity is clearly satisfied, and counting measure is one of the example of the sigma uh, a measure space. The last example I already said this is so familiar example. This is probability measure. Uh, because this is the measure space, this uh, triplet exists x, which is the whole set, and in probability measure many others, some others use this notation omega. But this is just a notation problem. This omega is in this in this position is the sigma algebra, and p is the measure function. And some others say the set, the set X is a sample space. This is just a whole set, but set in terms of statistics, this X is a sample space. And the P is so familiar name. This is, this is, what is this? This is our protagonist. This is probability. Then <clears throat> let's consider, let's construct the probability. Uh, the probability. Uh, when con imagine the probability which I studied in the preschool, middle school or high school, the probability is uh, a fraction which which is the value it expects which event occur. This value, the probability is low, the value is low, then this is event is rare. And in other case, this is uh, frequent. Okay, then when considering the, because this is a measures, measurable function, okay, we can, we think that clearly the sigma algebra is the domain and the 
this here, this is the range. Originally, the definition of the, the definition of the measure space, measurable function, a range, range of the measurable function is extended real value system. However, in this case, uh, th this is too uh, big. Let's consider this probability. The maximum is one. This is always if this is always occur event occur, and otherwise zero. Zero is uh, this event never occurred. This is the event never uh, take place happened. So when considering the value of the probability this is better one zero from one this is the better okay then uh, this is a probability measure and this is because of sigma algebra this goes to some set a and this because this is a set function this value spew out something okay this is the probability. Then, uh, let's consider this uh, omega, which is uh, which represents the sigma algebra. Remember, uh, I prepare some uh, to understand the probability measure. I I prepare some disk. This disk. Uh, is numbering is numbered one two and three and then I will this is arrow uh, I estimate estimate the probability which number which number uh, laid in this arrow so if we spin this disk like this and some uh, uh, number direct the the arrow arrow the uh, numbers uh, stop one two three stop this arrow A technical problem I want to only stop the number one but clearly uh, this number located in the arrow one two three uh, would be would er would located in this uh, arrow okay so I measure this probability. Then let's consider this uh, area of the each uh, area of disk each whose member occupied. One and two is a quarter, and three is a half. Uh, and intuitively, the air the considering the intuitively considering the area, the whose numbers occupied. Uh, we can say this is because this of a half. Uh, this occupies a half. This is one over two. Uh, another is a quarter. Okay. So uh, if we consider a the sigma algebra, this is the sigma algebra uh, because uh, x in this case x is the whole set consists of one, two, three, and in fact this is the um, the power set, okay. But however, the power set is the sigma algebra. So this element is a sigma algebra, and if I pick the a is the one and b, for example, b three, then we can define in case of p a is the probability. Uh, the number arrow, the number located in this white arrow, this is a pulse. Okay, and in this case, P, if we say this is, um, okay, for the notation problem, I say this is A1 and this B A1 and A2 is the two a3 and this is 3. Then if we consider, if we estimate PA3, which means the probability, the number located in located in the white arrow is a half.
okay and however let's more consider the definition of the major space <clears throat> uh, when considering the major space the first condition satisfies this property and second property is the countable editability if we satisfied if this is the really actually probability major space clearly these two conditions uh, should be satisfied should, should satisfy okay then um, first let's consider the first case what is the empty set empty set is if the one two three an empty set means in the probability space define this here uh, mu empty set defined is zero is p <coughs> p empty set and this means because we can choose one two three and i want to uh, estimate which value uh, stop this arrow from this 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 arrow but uh, empty set means just define the zero this is uh, if we define this here this is no problem and in the probability theory we define the empty set is defined zero and uh, okay most important point is that uh, if we consider px <clears throat> px is the defined as one this means uh, the probability total probability uh, which uh, if we analyzed analyzed px this means in fact because of the x is the one to three this means one union two and three let's say this is the whole this is called the whole set uh, from this from this here we estimate the count we check that countable additivity is satisfied ah of course this property is clearly trivial uh, because we can define the domain is here and every probability ranges from 0 to 1 okay this is positive function and uh, when you consider this here 1 2 3 this is the uh, uh, the probability all of the in fact, this is, we can say, uh, compare, P1 is a, a quarter, okay? And P2 is also a quarter. And remain point is P3 is a half. This is a, a quarter, quarter, and a half. This is here. So this is one. And this is same as the uh, here. So this clearly this means sigma countable additivity because these these, these guys are this joint set, and this joint set is value. Uh, this joint set then this is same as the point is here. This he this is same as here. From this here. Counter relativity is clearly satisfied. Let's consider the summation of the probability. Summation of the probability. So this means, for example, I want to evaluate the probability probability the number is located late late arrow direct one or three then if it is one or three we can directly 
this use this notation when the probability sense the notation is used the uh, for convenience a1 a3 the union use the union in the probability theory or or correspond the union and we can in fact we can directly this value is p a1 plus p a3 okay then this probability is uh, a1 is a quarter and a3 is a half this is clearly three purports three to purports then this rules the reason this rule satisfies we can check ah this is the result of the uh, measurable function probability measurable function probability measurable function this point is countable additability The reason is clear. A1, A3 is not occurred simultaneously. For example, we, if we uh, spin the here, 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 and stop three, but this, this is not uh, occurred three and one simultaneously. Of course, in this case, ah, this is boundary, but we ignore this case uh, only. 1 and 3, uh, it, the arrow only expressed the only one number, 1 and 3. So in this case, uh, decide some other uh, M, other people's help. And this is, suppose this is no, uh, the 3 and 1 occur simultaneously. This not, did not, do not occur simultaneously. Then, uh, in this case, we use the law of the uh, probability, in the probability sense, we use this property. Or correspond here, and if this not occur simultaneously, did not occur simultaneously, do not occur simultaneously, we can use this notation, we uh, evaluate the probability. The probability of, uh, probability of summation method is um, the result of uh, also uh, contain the properties of the probability measure function. This is countable additivity. So, if the, of course, if um, even if consider the accident is when the event is occurred simultaneously, if we uh, direct if we find the probability, we uh, use this case, impost case. Okay. However, in this case, we can does do not consider this value. So we can just um, summation of this uh, method of the summation of the probability. We can evaluate the probability of here.